Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni and Christine is with me. And we are highlighting Tom McCook's workshop, uh, Shoulder and Spine, on our site. And Tom, he is just a, a master. And you're seeing all of his work that he's done with the Franklin Method through Tom's lens and his beautiful, beautiful soul and personality. And he takes all of, actually people can make all of this really, really complicated and make your eyes cross and never, you never want to try to even attempt to teach this in the studio. But he makes it so simple and um, just right there. And again, you can just walk into the studio and you have so many simple tools that without using really complicated language that your clients are gonna get right away. So we're gonna use the Franklin balls first and we're just gonna do a little ball tapping on Christine's thoracic spine so that we wake up the nerve receptors here so she is aware of where we want to start to move. So I'm just gonna slowly tap and she's just relaxing her jaw, relaxing her face. I'm just using a really, really light tap here. Now especially at the upper thoracics, like T1, T2, T2, T2 T3, T4, it's hard to say, um, a lot of people get stuck. They don't have much movement up here. So I'm like spending some extra time tapping there and that's where I'm gonna actually really focus when we do this next part. All right, so you could spend more time here with them too and you could even go <laughs> down their arms. This is called client retention, right? <laughs> I learned that from Marie Jose Bloom. <laughs> client retention, okay. And so now I've, taught Christine that she's going to put one hand on top of the other. So I'm going to mimic this on her upper T-spine. So I'm kind of at her T1, T2. So her top hand is T1 and her bottom hand is T2. And then we're going to go into flexion. So I'm pulling these apart and she is bringing her top hand forward and doing a little flexion. And then I'm bringing my top fingers down and she's bringing that top hand down so that we are going back into extension in that area. And we we'll do this a number of times. So we'll inhale and we flex and we exhale, sliding that top vertebrae back down, coming back into extension. Inhale, so I'm gonna keep doing this. And so what this is creating, it's not only creating uh, the awareness of where we wanna move from, it's also creating synovial fluid, and it's also getting these nerve receptors really um, aware. Good. And so suddenly, right, it's like going to the dentist or brushing your teeth every day, suddenly we start to create the awareness, the care in this area that doesn't get much movement or doesn't get much thought, we start to have the brain really recognize this area to start to participate in movement, daily movement, really simple movement that we don't even think about um, throughout the day so that the body as a whole starts to feel just better and better. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.